Ushama, I understand um, the doctor would, uh, has asked you to start on the Lantus insulin. And Lantus insulin can be used with what's called the Sotostar pen. This is like a regular pen and it has a cap on it. And you just pull the cap off. And what's interesting about this pen is that it comes pre-filled. So this clear liquid here mm -hmm. already has the insulin in it. Each pen already comes with 300 units of insulin in it. So when you're ready to use a, a new pen, what you do is you take a needle. Each needle comes with a piece of paper on it and you pull the piece of paper off. Then you screw the needle onto the end of the pen. Then each pen needle comes with two caps on it and you pull the outside cap off and then you pull the inside cap off. And there's the needle on that end. On this end over here is the dose indicator window. And on this dark gray end, if I turn it, I can turn the dose. Okay. And if I make a mistake, I can go backwards. Okay. So before each injection, I'm gonna prime the pen, or I'm gonna do what's called a safety check. To do the safety check, I would turn it to number one, point the needle up, and push the button up. When I push the button, this will turn to zero, and I should see a drop of insulin come out. If I don't see a drop of insulin come out, I'm going to repeat this step. Okay. So I would just turn it to number one again, point the needle up, push the button on the end, and I'll see a drop of insulin come out. Okay. Did you want to try that? Sure. So it's at zero, and then just turn it to one, mm -hmm. right there. There we go. Perfect. So, depending on your dose of insulin, let's say the doctor suggests 10 units. You would just turn that to 10. So that's at 4. There yeah. we go. Perfect. So every time you turn the dial, it changes by one unit. You can hear the clicks and you can feel the clicks. Mm -hmm. right? And so that's all measured and now you're ready to do the injection. Okay. Thanks. So, with all pens, can I rewind and forward Well, the twist? No, not all the pens can you do that. Oh. With one of the features of the Lantus Solo Star pen is that you can do that back and forth movement. Mm -hmm. um, Lantus does come in different formats. You can get it in a cartridge format only, and then it's used with what's called the Auto Pen 24. And that particular pen, you have to dial the dose up correctly and then inject. If you make a mistake, you actually end up pushing the button and you waste the insulin. Oh. So one of the nice features about this particular pen is you can go backwards or forwards. Oh, okay. So with each of these cartridges, I understand with the new packages, you keep it in the fridge, but once you start using it, can you return it back into the fridge? Once you start to use this particular pen, which is pre-filled with the insulin in it, this is stable for 28 days out of the fridge. So you shouldn't put it back in the fridge, you can leave it out of the fridge. As long as it's not in the direct sunlight and as long as you're not leaving it in a really hot car, okay. so it's the insulin stays stable at room temperature. Any pen that you're not using, because when you get these from the pharmacy, you'll, they'll come with five pens in a box, mm. so you're gonna start to use one of the pens, but the other four pens that you're not using, those all get kept in the refrigerator. Okay. How do you know if this insulin's working or not for you? Mm -hmm. Well, you have to check your blood sugar count. Okay. And so the, the best time to check your blood sugar count with this particular insulin is when you do your blood sugar first thing in the morning. Okay. Okay. So usually when you're first starting on this insulin, the doctor's going to look at your morning blood sugar level. And we're aiming for that morning blood sugar to be between 4 and 7. Okay. So what happens if I need 20 or 22, and there's only 20 left, 20 units. Mm -hmm. So what happens is when you dial your dose of insulin, it will only dial up to how much insulin's left. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So if there's only 20 units left mm -hmm. and you need 22, okay. what will happen is you turn this up to 20 and you can inject it. Okay. And then you'll need to start a brand new pen mm -hmm. and take two units from that new pen. Mm -hmm. So that means you have to have two pokes that particular day. So some people like to use, it's good to the last drop. Mm -hmm. Other people would rather just have the one poke and they'll just waste whatever's left here and start a brand new pen. Oh. Do you want, to, you want to try taking the needle off that one when you're finished? Okay, so to take the needle off, I unscrew it? That's right. Yep, just unscrew it. I usually put the, you've got the hard plastic container over top. Yeah. And then you unscrew it. It just starts to loosen. And you pull it off. Oh, okay. Just like that. Mm-hmm. Perfect.